Alter. So to be totally honest, the reason I think I haven't been happy doing these vlogs is they haven't had a real good purpose. First, I was just doing them because I thought it would be an easy way to connect with viewership, but if they're worthless, no one's gonna watch them. Then I got the bright idea that I would only do vlogs anytime I was changing something on the channel. But really, once I get the channel set, it should be smooth sailing. Just generate content, stuff that's cool, and things you guys like. There's no reason for me to publish vlogs. So I decided the vlogs are gonna be more tips from me to you. They're not gonna be really formal. It's gonna be simple stuff, maybe a couple quick bullet points that follow up any major webisodes that I do. At least that's what I'm doing on this one. So today we're gonna to talk about proper fish handling, specifically for muskies, for catch and release fishing. A couple of things that you'll have seen when we caught that muskie was one, we brought it to hand quickly. Don't overplay the fish. So I'm a visual learner. So here's what not to do. Woo, Brohim, I think you caught me one of the me socks. Hand me a beer. Oh, she's a runner. Still there. Woo! I got a fish. It's almost like I don't have any drag in this here reel. Two, use the appropriately sized net. As you can see in the video, we used a net that was large enough to hold the fish as a live well while we got everything ready to go to take pictures and release the fish. So I use the word appropriately sized. What does that actually mean? Let me give you an example. Not appropriately sized. Also not a musky net. No, nope. No, still not a musky net. Salmon. Musky. <sighs> yep. Musky net. So just to be clear, for scale, this is correct. And three is proper fish handling before release. As you saw, we didn't hold that fish vertical. Keep them horizontal, especially Esox. Any of those toothy critters are not designed to be held vertical. It will kill them. I was struggling with the best way to illustrate this particular point. So I decided to phone a friend. It's Carl the Carp. So hopefully this helps clarify a little bit of fish handling for you guys. Some of you probably already knew a little bit of this, some of you probably knew all of it, and some of you probably know even more. For those guys, good for you. So until next time, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, and let us know what you think in the comments. Until then, tight lines, happy fishing, go catch you some muskies. I'm out.